Many of you asked me in the comments, how to create magnets media style seamless transitions in Filmora. This type of video effect can be a little difficult to make in Filmora because it doesn't have features to control the camera movement. But then I thought, why not try to create something similar anyway? And guess what? We did it. Hey guys, I've got these assets for you and you can download them from the description to practice along. Of course, you can also find similar elements on these websites if you want. So let's start. I'll first import everything into Filmora. Drag the background in, adjust the scale and position a little. Let's add the character image. Move the playhead to two seconds, resize and position it properly. To give it some depth, I'll turn on the shadow. Next, enable keyframes for position and scale. Go back to the start, increase the scale and set the Y value negative so the image drops down. Open the keyframe panel, apply ease in and ease out for smooth animation. You'll see the difference right away. Now select the background, go to the color tab and bring vibrance and saturation down to minus 100 for a darker mode. Add the grass PNG, do the same adjustments, darken it, increase width and place it here. If the layers is overlap, simply move the character layer up and grass down. You can add any transition element but I'll use this tree. Apply a dark tone. Well, you can use any method for the achieving dark feel. Scale it slightly and place it on the right side, making sure it aligns perfectly to the corners. Don't forget to check that Y is still set to zero. For the title, drag in a default text, replace it. Change the font and bump the size to about 125. I'll set the color to yellow add an outline and a shadow. To make it glow, I'll add one more shadow with slightly different values. Looks great. Now go to animations, choose raise up and set duration to one second. Save it as a preset so we can reuse it later. Move both these layer up and down the text layer here. If it doesn't look good with the background, just throw a black and white filter on the background. Much better. Let's preview. Trim the start of the text layer so it comes in slightly later. Then select everything, make a compound clip and call it first. I'll keep the duration around 4 seconds. For the next background, head to stock media, black, and drag in this clip. Go to effects, search paper, drag this one on background clip, and lower the opacity to 75%. Now I'll drag in this factory image. In your case, it could be a school or hospital, doesn't matter, the process is the same. Adjust it for a darker tone. Let's try some experiment with these values. Right click on it, go to edit timeline. Copy the tree from before. It might look a bit complicated right now, but once you understand the concept, I'm sure you'll actually enjoy creating this and paste it here on the left side. After this, check again that the Y value is zero. For the next transition, I'll use this tower image. Just tweak the color correction so it matches nicely with the background.
we will shift it to the right side in the same way. Just copy the grass layer from the first layer, paste it here and then adjust the position as needed. If you want to keep things simple and avoid going back to the edit timeline again and again, just make all compound clips at the end. Now drag the custom title preset we saved earlier. Replace the text, adjust size and position. I know the video is getting a bit long, so after this, just select all of these and make a compound clip. Let's name it second. For the third part, copy the background again. Paste and place here and drag another character image. Adjust the scale and position, then animate it with keyframes. All right, click around here. Then accordingly set this. At the start, push it down so it hides. Yeah, I know this process is a bit time consuming, but once that's done, just select the keyframes one by one and smooth them by doing ease in or ease out. A lot of subscribers say my videos move too fast. I get it. But since the similar steps repeat, I speed up some parts. Just like that. Again, here we need to match the color in the same way. Anyway, copy the tower image. Paste it here and align it with these layers. Now place it on the left side until only half properly visible. Add grass image again if you want. Just copy the elements from previous compound layer and paste them onto the next one. And don't forget to add shadows to your character for extra depth. This process just continues like this until your final video is ready. Now make another compound clip for this one also. So by now most of our work is already done. At one second, add keyframes for scale and position. And at the beginning, we will scale it up quite big. That's exactly the effect we need. Smooth out the keyframes. In the same way, just select the keyframes and apply ease in or ease out. Now go to 420 and enable these keyframes. Then at 510, increase the scale and adjust the position. After that, at 617, add keyframes. And a few frames later, reset the values. As usual, smooth them one by one, so the animation feels buttery smooth. If you ever get stuck, just drop a comment. Keep adding keyframes, adjusting scale and position and smoothing each time. Next, let's add a transition. Drag push left onto the cuts and adjust duration as you like. The cool thing is, you can make different variations just like this. Like you could put an element at the bottom and add a push down transition or place it at the top and use a push up transition. That's it for the main effect. I want to add more detail in this clip, so just open it. Then select all layer move upwards. Go to stock media and search something relevant to our theme. Then drag that video clip here, trim it, set blend mode to screen and leave opacity as is. Add shadow to the factory image for more depth. Pro tip, always use shadows on your elements. It instantly makes your effect look next level. Now apply this ink transition on the chart animation and it's looking perfect. You can add here solid color, image or anything else. I'll move the text under these layers so it blends better. Finally search mild in effect section Drag this one and stretch till to ending. Just enter these values because we need light movement for this effect. And here's another pro tip. If you've seen my previous video, try combining that effect with this one and you'll get something even more epic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.